the dense crowds around the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Pilgrims from all over the world, from the Middle East, Africa, Indonesia, even a group of Chinese Muslims chanting prayers. Up to three million estimated visitors converge on Mecca to perform their pilgrimage. Around the mosque, Islam's holiest site, there are a variety of very American retail outlets that I didn't expect to see in the birthplace of Islam. A Kentucky Fried Chicken with one line for men and another for women. A Burger King inside the mall as well as a Baskin Robbins. Five-star hotels like the Mecca Hilton and the Sheraton. All around the Grand Mosque, also known as the Haram, even more hotels are being built to accommodate the swelling number of visitors hoping to travel to Mecca in the future. I was advised to wear a surgical mask to protect from germs and dust. The masks have become popular here and pharmacies are selling them in packs of 50. On the ground, I snake my way through thousands of exhausted pilgrims, some sleeping directly on the marble slabs surrounding the mosque. They eat, drink, and congregate on thin plastic mats, hang their luggage and bags of food on metal railings. We're told this is technically illegal, but nobody seems to be stopping these pilgrims from setting up camp here. Not far from the mosque, a woman in full black veil admonishes me for not completely covering my hair. Midday prayers have now just ended and pilgrims will be making their way to Mina, several kilometers away from Mecca. That's where the process of Hajj officially starts. They'll be traveling via bus, car, moped, and some, even some of these who are waving now, might even go by foot. And off they go on a journey many say will be one of the most defining moments of their lives. Hala Garani, CNN. Mecca, Saudi Arabia.